Hello everyone, today on my channel I'm going to be celebrating a birthday. No, it's not my birthday, it's the birthday of my AEG 8000 series Lavamat washing machine. Well, not strictly its birthday, but five years ago today I took delivery of this AEG machine with its matching tumble dryer. I will say I didn't pay for this machine or the dryer, I got it via a promotion between AO.com and AEG. They sent me the washer and dryer to review on my channel and I got to keep them. Obviously, I've had this five years. I've been using it for five years. If I didn't like this machine, I would have swapped it for the previous machine I had or bought another one. But it's lasted five years with absolutely no problems. This washer and the dryer have been washing my clothes and drying them for five years and I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to do a little five year update video today to show you basically that it still works. And I'm also going to take some requests. I won't be able to do them all. I know some of you are big fans of washing machines and like to see certain programs being shown on YouTube. So if you've got a request, something you'd like to see with this machine, request it under this video because although I do like this machine, I'm getting a different washing machine. A brand new washing machine is coming in a few weeks. This will not go to waste though. It's going to a good home. My partner's nephew has just bought his first house and he needs a washer. So this will be going to someone else's house and uh, I expect it'll last a good few years. So without any further ado, let's uh, have a quick overview of this machine. I might put a load of laundry in and we'll see if it's still performing as good as it was when I took delivery of it five years ago. This particular AEG washing machine takes a large nine kilogram wash load and it has a very nice large opening so it's easy to unload and load your washing. Now nine kilograms is the maximum weight on certain programs so you can only fill the machine with nine kilograms of dry clothing when you're using the cottons or anti-allergy programs. Other programs such as synthetics require you to fit less laundry in. For example, the maximum suggested load for a synthetic program is four kilograms. That's the same with most automatic washing machines. You have to tailor the amount of garments you put in according to the program you use. As you can see, after five years of washing, the drum still looks brand new. And because I do a regular wash at 60 degrees, there's no sign of any mold inside the door seal. About once every four months, I also run a maintenance program at 95 degrees with some washing machine cleaner in it, just to make sure any residue that's built up is cleaned out. Over the past five years of washing with this AEG, I've used various different detergents and softeners. I tend to favor the plant-based liquid detergents for day-to-day -day clothing. If it's something quite stained or soiled, for example, my tea towels, I always use a biological detergent. Sometimes I'd use one of these capsules, one capsule inside the drum. On other occasions, I might use a traditional powder. When I wash my tea towels I always use a biological powder or one of these capsules and I wash at a minimum of 60 degrees and I think that's what's kept my washing machine clean and fresh smelling. When choosing a new washing machine some people are swayed by the number of programs available but in reality you only tend to use two or three of the programs on a regular basis. So I'm going to show you the programs on this AEG that I find most useful and other programs I use the most. Occasionally, I will use the standard cotton program. If I've got a very big load of cotton items, denim jeans, t-shirts, socks, etc., I'll use the regular cotton program on 40 degrees. So that's a way of washing a big load effectively, but often if I don't have a large load, I won't use the cotton program. Synthetics is a, a program that is hardly ever used in this house. We don't really have any synthetic clothing or bedding. Nearly everything we wear is made of cotton. So that really barely gets a look in. Delicates, again, we, know we don't use a delicate. Or the wool silk program. I think I've used it a couple of times for a jumper I didn't want to get damaged. And when you're using the wool silk program, there's hardly any rotation. It's very, very gentle. In fact, this has the wool mark approval, so you can wash 
machine washable woolens and silks in this particular machine. At steam, I might try this for another video. I've never used it. You can have a separate steam program. So for example, if you've worn a shirt once and you just need to freshen it up and help reduce the wrinkles, you could put the dry shirt in the machine. You've also got a steam option that uh, takes effect after certain programs to help ease out some of the wrinkles. But again, I've never used that either. The program I use the most is Oco Power. The Oco Power program is suitable for loads up to five kilograms in weight. But to be honest, I'm pretty sure I've put more than five kilograms of laundry in the machine using Oco Power and the results have been fine. The machine does know how much laundry you've put in and will adjust the water level accordingly. So Oco Power, a standard Oco Power wash will take 59 minutes, but I believe it only does two rinses. So if you want extra rinses, which is what I tend to do, you can use the extra rinse button here. So I can press it and have one extra rinse, two extra rinses or three. Three extra rinses is the maximum, as you can see. If I do three extra rinses, it takes it up to one hour 27. I never need to do three. Often I'll do just one extra rinse. Most of the time, especially if it's garments that I wear to, uh, close to the skin, if they're not outerwear garments, if they're t-shirts or underwear that I obviously touch the skin, I want them rinsed. So I will do an extra two rinses. So that takes one hour, 18 minutes at 30 degrees. Well, I always up the temperature. You can do that, obviously. 30 degrees is default, but by pressing the temperature button, you can change it. You can even do a 60 degree Oco power, which I do occasionally do, but normally a 40 degree Oco power wash, one hour, 18 minutes. I don't think that's bad for doing a full load of laundry. The anti-allergy program is another one I've seldom used. I think I've used it on occasions for towels or bedding. It will wash a full nine kilogram wash load and maintains the 60 degree temperature for longer. This, according to the instructions, is designed to kill some germs, bacteria and microorganisms that may be in your towels or bedding. So it's useful if you've had someone sick in your house, got through a recent stomach bug or the flu, wash their bedding and towels on the anti-allergy setting. The 20 minute quick wash is useful for washing clothes that you've just worn once or have taken out of storage and they smell a bit musty. So you can wash, rinse and spin a small load up to three kilograms in around 20 minutes. So it is quite useful, but again, it's something that I seldom use myself. I don't ever recall using the outdoor program, but that's suitable for your outdoor clothing, your waterproof clothing and your synthetic sportswear. Now on outdoor, you can reproof your waterproof items by putting a reproofing agent into the fabric softener compartment. But once you've used the program, it's best to put it in the tumble dryer to help set the proofing agent so it works effectively. But again, that's something I've never used. The last option on the dial is the duvet program. And yes, I have used that on several occasions to wash my double duvets. I only use a 4.5 and a 7.5 TOG on my bed. So they're quite thin and they easily fit in this machine. I have also washed a 4.5 summer weight king sized duvet in this washer and it's fine. I think the capacity will also wash a 15 TOG single duvet but when you start getting bigger, if you get a double or king size or super king, I'm not sure this machine has the capacity to wash duvets like that. You might have to take them to the laundry. This washing machine also has various options so you can tailor the specific program to your needs, but it'll only allow you to adjust the settings suitable for the program. For example, on some programs, you can't increase the spin speed or the temperature. It will only allow the maximum speed and temperature for the selected wash. So for example, if I was to do a cotton load, the default is 40 degrees, but a lot of people like to wash their cottons at a higher temperature. So by pressing the temperature button, we can wash at cold or up to 95 degrees, 60, 
And I like the fact that this washer has a 50 degree wash. Some washing machines have a 40 and 60, but they omit as 50. So sometimes I do use the 50 program. For day-to-day -day clothing, I tend to stick to 40 degrees. And I have occasionally washed on 30 or sometimes even cold and I've still got good results. So if you want to really save energy for lightly soiled clothing, you could try a cold wash and see how it turns out. You might be satisfied with the results. I certainly was. 1600 is the maximum spin available on the cotton program, but of course you can vary that right down to 400. Rinse hold where it won't spin. It holds the final rinse water in the machine until you start it again to select the spin. So if you want to start your washing machine at night and don't want it spinning in the morning, you can select the spin program. And of course, this setting here, DB stands for decibels. That is a program you can use at night. It eliminates the spin at the end and any interim spins. So the machine will wash and rinse but no spinning action, which is the loudest part of the program in, in any washing machine. So you can avoid having the spin and spin it separately later. So that's good that you can change the spin. Obviously, on programs that don't allow you to have a faster spin. So, for example, on synthetic, the fastest I can spin is 1200. And I can go down, but I can't go above. It's all to help protect the fabrics. The stains and pre-wash section i've very seldom pre-wash i don't feel the need to i don't get anything very dirty but if you've got workwear that gets very dirty a separate pre-wash is always handy and especially if you've got clothes that have got mud on them or oil you can select a separate pre-wash and then you can put detergent in the pre-wash compartment of the drawer and you can also do stains well that's for the pre-wash you see that symbol there and you can do stains and pre-wash together. You can do stains on its own. You can add a specific stain remover into the machine as well, as well as your regular washing powder. I've used that occasionally if I've got very dirty tea towels, but not often. As I said, the extra rinse and the varying the spin speed and temperature are the options I use the most. Soft Plus, I very rarely use it, but if you want very soft laundry, and when you add fabric softener, you can use the Soft Plus option. It does increase the wash time. To select Soft Plus, you've got to press temp and spin together, hold it, and you'll see a little plus symbol above the rinse symbol. So that means it's going to take a bit longer, but in theory, you should have softer washing, providing you use a fabric softener. I've done it occasionally, but it does add to the time the washing takes, so I don't often use that. My clothes come out soft enough using the regular program with a decent fabric softener. You can also lock the display if you've got inquisitive fingers that might want to change your washing program. You can lock it so it can't be changed while the washer is in use. If you use the default cotton program, you'll see from the time indicator that the program takes three hours, 15 minutes to run. But in practice, it never takes that long because the machine senses the weight of the wash load when it first starts to tumble. And you'll often find that 3.15 soon reduces. You can change that time. You can make it more or less. If you press the eco button, you can see it's gone up to 4 hours 17 minutes. That is the most economical program for washing a full load of cottons. But I can see the comments now People aren't going to wait four hours, 17 minutes for their wash. But the thing is, don't stand waiting around for it to finish. Just go out, go to work, and it'll be ready for when you come home. But obviously, if you're in a hurry, you don't want to be waiting four hours, 17 minutes. But if you want to save energy, that's the program to use. And you can press the eco button on other programs as well. For example, I've just done it on the synthetic. So that's increasing it to three hours, three minutes on eco from two hours 53. So it hasn't increased the wash time by much when you press eco. I never ever use that setting. So um, if you want to use it, it's there as an option. The next option I occasionally use is time save. This is useful for lightly soiled laundry. For example, on the regular cotton program, as you can see, three hours, 15 minutes. If you press time save once, that reduces it to 2 hours 24. You can reduce it further by pressing time save again 
to one hour 28. So you can do a full cotton load, nine kilogram cotton load in one hour 28 minutes, which I think is pretty reasonable. Obviously, if you want to add extra rinses, you can do, but it will increase the wash time. The other options available to you are rinse only, spin only, and drain only. Now the rinse only feature is a bit misleading because it does a full rinse and spin cycle, not just a rinse. So for example, if I've got it selected on the cottons program and press rinse only using the option button, I'm going to have a full rinse and spin program that takes 42 minutes. You can, of course, if you just want to rinse, you can eliminate the spin by pressing the spin button. You can eliminate it entirely or spin at a slower speed or even do it on rinse hold, whatever you want to do. But the default on the cotton program for rinse and spin is 1600. And if I was to do a rinse and spin using synthetics, it will still do it. So select the synthetic program and the option rinse only. That takes 35 minutes and it'll spin at a maximum of 1200. Obviously you can lower that according to your needs. The additional option I use the most is the spin only option. Now I tend to use that when I've washed a load of laundry using the Oco Power program. In Oco Power, it does spin at 1600 RPM, but it's quite a short spin. So if I'm using my tumble dryer or I'm drying the clothes indoors, I like to extract more water out of the laundry. So I would do a maximum spin. So for that, you'd select the cotton program and spin only, press the start button, and you'll get a very thorough spin. You can use spin only on the other programs. For example, if I wanted to spin a load of synthetics, you select the synthetic program and again, select spin only, and that will take 10 minutes, but it'll only allow you to spin at a maximum of 1200. You can of course reduce the spin speed as you require. This is the detergent drawer, and I'm glad to say it looks fairly clean, though I do take it out from time to time to give it a thorough clean. There's a button at the back here, you just press that and the drawer comes out. This little cover for the siphon is also removable. And there's a hole here that dispenses the fabric softener. You need to make sure that that's kept clear, otherwise the machine won't dispense the softener. So it's a good idea once a month or so, take the drawer out and give it a good wash. The whole drawer comes out, as I said, inside you'll see the jets where the water comes into the drawer. They can often get black with mold, so you can use a bleach based spray cleaner. Just spray it on, use an old toothbrush or a washing up brush and give it a good scrubbing. Rinse it as much as you can, but then I would run a maintenance program after you've put bleach in there because you don't want to be using the washer if there's any hint of bleach in the drawer because it'll, it'll ruin your clothes, obviously. So. I always clean all this and then run a maintenance wash afterwards. At the moment, the drawer is set up to use powder, but if you use a liquid detergent, you'll see that there's a little flap here at the back. I'll just pull it out so you can see better. There you go. So this is the position when you're using traditional powder. If you're using a liquid, you have to make sure that that's closed. When you're using the delay start feature, again, that's something I've never used on this machine. You can't use liquid detergent because it'll end up going in the drum before the wash starts. You can use powder when you're using delay start or use one of the washing capsules in the drum, that's fine. So this is what I tend to put down if I'm using the liquid, which is most of the time, that's normally closed. Let's pop that back in there. Well, that's the end of my five year review on my AEG washing machine. I don't think you can get this specific model anymore. Obviously, AEG have improved their product lineup over the years, but you'll be able to get very similar machines to this, possibly with new features. I think there is a model now that you can auto dose your detergent goes in the drawer but you can put several washes worth of liquid detergent in and it will automatically mix it in with the load so you're not having to put detergent in every time so that might be a useful feature for you so if you want to see what AEG are offering now you can check out their website you can buy this online you can buy it from various stores as well independent retailers but check out AEG's website and you'll see all the current models available well, I'm going to end the video by putting in a load of washing. Don't forget, if you're a washing machine fan and want to see this 
washing machine perform a particular program, comment below and I'll see how many programs I can do for you. I can't guarantee I'll be able to film every video because as I said, after five years of faithful service, this is going to a new home and will be replaced by a new washing machine. So stay tuned for that and you'll find out what washer I've chosen to replace the AEG. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.